let's discover how long it takes to actually grow your website. Now, I've talked about this a lot of times. However, this is more of an inspirational post and ultimately the trends that you need to look for to see if you're actually on the right track. Now, why am I telling you this? Because a lot of people look for the wrong signals when it comes to building their website. They just think, ah, oh, you know what? It kind of looks like it's going up. Maybe it's going down, but ultimately you might see something and you probably think it's good or bad. And ultimately this video is there to decipher whether or not it is actually good or bad. So why should you actually listen to this advice? I run about a hundred and so websites uh, online and that's what I have access to on a regular basis that I look at constantly. So we've built about 150 plus websites, but we have access to about a hundred of them and their search results. Now, many of them are doing SEO work. Many of them are not doing SEO work, but we are going to be using my personal website, which is going to be harrisonbaron.com. And I might even throw my agency website on there as well, just so you guys can see what's going on. And we're going to dive right here into my computer to look at some telltale signs and also something really, really important that you need to watch and see because it just won't make sense if I tell you right now. So let's just jump into my computer here. This is going to be a shorter video, but as you see here, we have my website. So harrisonbaron.com, pretty excited with the growth that it's had so far, right? We have about 2.48, uh, or almost 2.5 thousand clicks in the last three months, which is great. We're hitting almost about a thousand completely organic visits. Now, if this is new to you or if you've never seen this before, this is Google Search Console. This is basically how Google is showing out your content online. Now, I do have a lot of articles on here. I have about 200 plus articles on here, about 250 specifically uh, on here, and I'm constantly writing more and more content, which is fantastic. So, looking at the chart, you're like, okay, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, my, my big head here is covering some data, but I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you guys can see, and you'll see some data in here that just, you could tell, okay, so we're showing up for some some stuff, right? I hate to use the word stuff, but I mean, it really is. I mean, we're showing up for B2B uh, sales, which is fantastic. We're sitting at position 82, some LinkedIn premium benefits here. Uh, we have LinkedIn lead generation, LinkedIn premium, um, transistor podcast benefits of LinkedIn premium. I mean, we have a lot of good content. A lot of this content is also aged quite well. I mean, if you look at some of the pieces of content on here, uh, you know, benefits of LinkedIn premium is... I mean, this is, we're talking about July 2nd of 2021. That's when uh, it was revamped a little bit and just we had somebody go in there and, you know, one of my editors work on this, right? I mean, the formatting is pretty awful. I could probably do a lot better on the formatting, but overall, not bad. A little bit good size article. Uh, probably need some images. I'm definitely going to be going through and doing that, but overall, not bad. Pretty happy with it. So what am I talking about here? What is the whole point of this? Well, if you look at it, you'll see the overall trend here, which seems to be pretty good. Uh, the starting point is right around 2000 and we're ending the, this today, which is October 4th. Um, we're ending here around 5,000. So overall a 2.5 X jump realistically in here, right? I mean, some of them are going to be a little higher. Some of them are going to be a little lower, but overall a 2.5 X jump. Fantastic, right? And if you look at your clicks, the clicks are going to be similar, right? So we have 11 up to 34. And then down here, we have about 26 all the way up to 54, realistically. So, I mean, the low spots, 26 to 11, that's almost double. And then 54 to 34, I mean, that's almost double as well. So that's fantastic. But this isn't the most important part. The most important part is it is good to see a trend, right? If you're sitting more flatline, more sta you know, stable, more steady, just not really going anywhere, you probably need to spruce up your website. You probably need to throw some some new content on there or spruce up what you already have. This is going to help tremendously. It's going to help show Google, hey, you're still active. It's going to help show people that you're still active. And ultimately, it's just going to give you the opportunity to start ranking for more and more keywords. But here's the important part in here. If you go out and now we start to look at something like six months, right? That's a good amount of time. Everything's happened in 2021. You really get a good picture of what's going on. So you'll see in here, you know, we're sitting around a thousand, you know, a thousand impressions per day. And now, like I said, we're at about 5,000 impressions per day. That's a huge difference, right? And if you look, the clicks also follow. Now the clicks isn't the most major difference and usually clicks follow long after the impressions. But the cool part is, is you could really see that, hey, there is definitely a difference, right? On my lowest days here, we're talking about three, uh, three clicks. And then on my lowest days here, you're talking about 26 clicks. So over the course of six months, there's been some, that's been almost a 10x growth. That's fantastic, right? 
And if you look at your impressions, same thing. I mean, we had a major change right here. I swapped over from Kajabi over to Webflow just for my uh, my website here. And it's been a pretty aggressive growth. Not saying that my growth was bad with Kajabi. It was a test. I want, I'm, I'm constantly testing things to help bring you guys the best content possible. But here's where it gets a little interesting, right? Now that we've seen the total impressions, total clicks, and then you might be thinking, Harrison, why don't you follow or why don't you check out the average click-through rate? It doesn't really matter to me because it's going to constantly be changing if I'm putting out a lot of new articles. That click-through rate is going to go down. You know, your average position, same thing. If you're, you're not putting out a lot of high-quality articles, that average position is going to go down as well. And that's okay. You, you Sometimes I produce an article and I know it's gonna sit there for a while, long before I'm gonna go back in and work on it again and revamp it, but I want Google to start to see it. And then this is where it starts to get cool, right? So now we could look at 12 months, and this is a really good indicator of what's going on with your website and what you're doing, right? So over the last 12 months, I've gotten 5,000, uh, 5,600 clicks, and you can see, I mean, there's been some massive growth, right? There hasn't been a day in a long time now that I didn't have a single click, right? The last time was November 20, what is that? November 22nd was the last time I didn't have a single visitor on my website organically, right? And then you can see your impressions. I mean, there is some massive, massive growth over the course of this time period. So if you're like, hey, my website's not growing, look at the big picture, right? This is the last 12 months, and it's just been constantly moving in the right direction here. And same thing with clicks. I mean, the clicks are following in suit, right? They're falling down a little bit here, and that's quite all right. And then the most important thing, and this is something I tell everybody, look at the biggest picture possible, right? I mean, this is literally the come up from nothing. Right? That's the best part about making these videos. One, I get to remember what my stats were. I get to see, oh, remember when I had, you know, seven impressions or five impressions or heck no impressions all the way up to, you know, 5,000 impressions per day and then a total clicks, right? I mean, there were days that nobody visited the website. I used to get so excited when I'd see one or two or three people visiting my website and I was like, oh, I can't wait. I'm so happy about it, right? Now, these numbers are, are very small compared to what my goals are and that's okay, right? But if you're ever feeling down or, you know, you're like, oh my God, is the, is the work that I'm doing worth it? You got to remember two things in the website world. One, it is not a fast process. It doesn't matter if you hire somebody else out. It doesn't matter if you do it yourself. It doesn't matter if you spend a hundred hours a day or 10 hours a day doing it. It is not a fast process. And two is just remember where you came from, right? Every single day, it stacks on top of itself over and over and over and over again, right? This is my personal website. This thing takes the farthest back seat. I work on it when I have free time. But here's the thing. If I could, you know, go get a couple new backlinks once a month, fantastic. If I can go write an article once every two weeks, fantastic. If I can go spruce up an existing article, even better. But it's the constant work over and over and over again to do the best job possible is what makes my website successful. And quite honestly, this trajectory, I don't foresee in going anywhere anytime soon other than up, right? I mean, if you look at it, it's been pretty aggressive as far as growth goes, and I plan to keep that going, right? I'll go back, I'll tweak, I'll modify, I'll adjust. 250 articles in there, I plan to get into the thousands at some point or another and constantly keep working on it. But I mean, this is this is fantastic. I'm super happy with where it's come in the last 16 months. I've really only had it for about two years now. And it also shows the progression of my SEO skills, right? I mean, just learning and growing and getting better uh, at my skill and trade. So keep this in mind. If you are you have a website and you're like, hey, you know, it's not growing, relax. It takes a solid couple of years to really build a website. Realistically, several years. I mean, three, four, five, six years. I know that this website's far from done. I will have this website for years and years and years to come, regardless of where my my career takes me. I will always have this website. It'll be the best twenty or twenty five dollars I spend every single month, and it's starting to make money finally. Right? I have some Amazon affiliates on there. I'm in the process of building a course on there. By the way, link always down below. Um, there's just so many great things on there and I'm so excited about it. And when this starts to really hit the numbers that I want it to hit, where I'm hitting several thousand visitors per month organically, and I'm starting to get more and more people into lead magnets and all the fancy stuff that I talk about on this channel, that's when I'm going to be able to finally cash in that jackpot and start to hit the home runs. But right now, it's all about building. It's all about building and progress. So don't get discouraged. Keep your head up. It is a long 
arduous process, but no matter what you want to do, stick to it. Stick to your niche and just keep driving and driving and driving in that direction and enjoy the process along the way. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.